For most of history, we have put a premium on physical assets. According to Investopedia, an asset is a resource with an economic value that an individual, corporation, or country owns or controls with an expectation that it will provide a future benefit. Over the past few years, a new asset class has been created in the digital world. We refer to these collectively as digital assets. In this video, I will explain what digital assets are and why they're becoming more and more valuable, and in some cases already overtaking their physical counterparts. I'm Somi Aryan. I'm a tech philosopher and the founder of the FemPeak platform, where visionary individuals come to stay in the know and ahead of the curve in business and technology. I'm super passionate about getting more people on board with Web3, investing, and financial empowerment. Please just remember, nothing I say here is financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. So if you are on board, let's dive right in. Ever since I made the Millennial Disruption documentary, I've been giving talks around the world explaining that digital is like a language. Being digital native is like being the native speaker of a language. If you haven't grown up with it, you will always be like a foreigner trying to learn to speak fluently. You will always have an accent, just like I do. To most people who didn't grow up in the digital world, the idea that a digital item could have economic value, just like a physical item, is pretty foreign. However, for those Gen Z and younger millennials who've never seen the world before the internet and grew up in front of screens, the idea that a digital item can have real world economic value comes naturally. The problem with most forms of traditional assets, especially those that are tied into a specific location, is that you can't move them as you go from one place to another. Even stocks, bonds, and cash in the bank are vulnerable and can be seized and frozen by governments. The ultimate digital asset is one that is censorship resistant and decentralized. So it can't be seized unless someone physically forces you to hand them your private keys. I'll be sure to talk about private keys in another upcoming video. Arguably the first and still the best example of a digital asset is Bitcoin. Since then, other great digital assets have been created like Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies. And of course, we now also have NFTs and virtual land, Web3 domains, and in-game assets. What's fascinating though, is that the value of digital assets is growing extremely fast. And soon they may become out of reach for many of us if we don't get on board with them before it's too late. Think about it. It's taken gold hundreds of years to reach $11 trillion in market cap. And yet it took Bitcoin just about a decade to reach over 1 trillion market cap. If you are not sure what I mean by that, watch my video on market cap. The bottom line is that the exponential growth of technology is only likely to increase the value of digital assets and Bitcoin is at the heart of them. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and press that like button. This will help more people discover these videos. Also, be sure to ping that notification bell so you're alerted when I release the next video. And let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover. Finally, if you like what you see here, join the FemPeak platform where we have live mentoring sessions with industry experts and you can network with other visionaries like yourself.